When last we saw him, it was the slow start that everybody pointed to. Those first six rounds against Lopez when he just wasn't firing off. Loma admits afterwards he was worried about the right shoulder. What do you expect early on here, Dre? I see Lomachenko trying to remind Nakatani and the fans why he is who we've always said that he was. A pound-for-pound -pound fighter, a great fighter, a guy who was a great amateur who's trying to close out his career as a great professional. But he's going to have to get inside of that long reach. Nakatani has a four-inch height advantage, five-and-a-half-inch reach advantage. So we want to see what Loma has left physically and also mentally. And with that advantage, Nakatani is going right to the jab. And if you're Nakatani, you have to pay attention, or you should have paid attention to how Lopez backed up Loma and didn't allow him to do all the stuff that he likes to do before he punches, the fainting, all the movement. Nakatani has to take a page out of Lopez's book and start to back Loma up and not allow him to think. There's Loma getting to the inside, and he came with the straight left hand when he did. Oh, great angle and a left hand lands. That's when he's at his best, when he is able to create angles and be offensive. And when it comes to power punches, Tim, we talked about this. Loma is one of the best at all. Boxing number three among all active fighters, landing over 47% of his power punches. Meanwhile, Nakatani opponents land 38.7% of their power punches. Loma's coming out more aggressive. Then we usually see him, oh, right hand down the middle. As Loma attempted two jabs to move in to throw a left hand, Nakatani timed him with the right hand. Nakatani has a lot of confidence in that right hand. Lead gonna, left again from the former champ. It's going to be about patience for Loma. Watch your head, watch your you know, watch a matter watch of time. Oh, Protect yourself at all times. There was a... Clash of heads. The referee did not come oh, in, but and Loma blood on fired off a punch. Forehead of Loma's bleeding. Dripping down his nose at the moment. So a gash opens up with a minute left here in round one on that clash of heads. We'll take a look at the position, but it looks like it's well above the eye blood streaming down the center of Lomachenko's face and you can see right away that blood has infuriated Nakatani he's becoming more aggressive now Stop. Right. that may be all the way up on the hairline not near the eye all that stuff, all that blood's coming down, Tess. Lomachenko has a superb veteran cut man in Russ Amp. There it is. Southpaw versus Orthodox. This happens. Both their power hands lined up on the same side. You see the slot change right there from Lomachenko. And you see how smart. You're going to have a cut, Tess. That's probably the best place to have one is on top of your head instead of around your eyebrows where it impairs your vision. Good head movement and then coming back with the left hand. See, one move from Lomachenko cut down the reach that quick, and he was able to get inside where Nakatani couldn't punch, and he was able to raise Nakatani with an overhand left. Ooh. There it is. He's able to get to the inside against the much taller fighter. He hurt him with that shot as well. Combination scores from Loma. See, Loma stands just close enough to get Nakatani to throw, then he gets out of range really quick and then he slips to the side and then he attacks at the right moment smart boxing from Lomachenko Loma's game is everything that he does before he punches indirect movements feints 
Banks with the feet, Banks with the hands, and all of a sudden, before you know it, you're getting hit with a three-piece. And, Dre, we've discussed it through the years in many of the Loma fights that we've broadcast, how exhausting it can be for the opponent even if he's not throwing because of that. It unnerves you, and without even being, without even throwing a punch or getting hit with a punch, it can start to drain you. You're absolutely right. But Nakatani needs to start pushing Lomachenko back. He can't be in the front row of the Lomachenko show because it won't go well. He needs to start pushing Loma back. Yes, he's going to get hit, but Nakatani's getting hit anyway and start to sell out and push the smaller man back. Heard that Loma chant go up a few times already here at Virgin Hotels. Good group of supporters here to see the three-division world champion. Stop. This is not the night for Nakatani to try to get cute or be pretty. Make this thing as rough as possible. There's a short right hand on the inside from Lomachenko that scored. Half hook, half jab that landed from Loma. Loma beats your mind before he beats your body. And that's what's happening right now to Nakatani. Stop. Stop. One of the areas that Loma is avoiding right now is the body. He needs to hit the body of Nakatani. Slow him down. Woo. Nice shot right there. That left hand is open all night long. Loma able to get out of range and then come with the attack. There's the angle that we're so used to seeing. He often does it when he triple jabs. End of two. Timmy job all week here in Vegas. Round three. CompuBox has Lomachenko with a 13 to 3 connect advantage. It's a half a jar of Vaseline <laughs> on the top of Loma's <laughs> head. The ref gets wind of it. He may tell him to wipe some of it off. Well, you know, anything near the bone, you know, it bleeds a lot. Not that Nakatani is not tough. It's just that the computer system of and the processing speed of Loma is a lot faster Stop. than Nakatani. So what? it may take Nakatani four, five, six rounds to even begin to process what Loma is doing. But at that point, Loma may be up five or six rounds. Tried to time a right uppercut as Lomachenko came forward. Don't tell me that boxing is not a thinking man's sport. Absolutely it is. Lomachenko is a great example of it. Right. This is a guy that naturally is really a featherweight, a 126 pounder that just has enjoyed the challenges. Oh, there's a left hand, a lead left that does damage there. That's right. He comes up two Stop. more weight divisions because he wants the challenge. He's the smaller man, but he says, my boxing IQ, my skill, that computer system that you know, Dre, can overcome the size differential. Chases him straight back with a three punch combination. That's why he's one of the most exciting fighters to watch today. The veteran move right there from Loma. He didn't take the bait from Nakatani. He knows that Nakatani's bewildered right now and frustrated. Of course you want me to go into the lion's den where your back is against the rope and you can try to get a big right hand off. No, you're going to come back out to see with me where you are. You basically have no answer. Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. Ruiz warns Nakatani for that right hand that strayed low. They will touch them up here. Minutes ago in round three. Even that move right there, Loma got to the side of Nakatani. Didn't punch, but it unnerved Nakatani and it took wind from him. Left hand to the body that followed. Looked like it was the punch that could have been placed with the move that you described. Then he came back to it. I like what Nakatani's doing right now. He's attacking the body of Lomachenko. I saw that with a weakness in the fight against Lopez. Ooh. Masterful stuff. Doubled up the left hand. That is being ruled a slip. We wondered if we would see vintage Lomachenko. 
purpose-minded Lomachenko, angular Lomachenko. Much different than what we saw early on back in October. Just like this, Loma said, okay, let me see, let me see. You brought that down low, boom. Get to the side where you cannot counter, and I'm gonna land my shot, and you're not gonna be able to land yours. I'm the shorter arm man. How did that happen? Front step shot. You here. have to. Round four, and Nakatani has only landed 10% of his total punches thrown against the very elusive and great footwork from Lomachenko. He can do both. He can be a good moving fighter who is offensive minded. Punches the last round, nine to four, Lomachenko. Just watch Loma right here. He doesn't see what he wants to see just yet. So he's fainting, he's going to the left, yep. he's going to the right. Puts the right jab out up. No, I don't see anything yet. Let me bend down. Oh, I could have had that. Oh, I get that jab. Oh, ooh, right, right, right hand from Nakatani. But watch Loma make the adjustment. You typically don't hit a great fighter, a high IQ fighter with the same punch twice. See that body work right there from Nakatani. You can see. Loma trying to pull his body away, lifting his feet up off the canvas. Nice move right there from Lomachenko, but didn't make Nakatani pay. Stop. Right. That sequence right there was almost like a two-punch combination in terms of what it takes from a fighter psychologically and physically. Nakatani trying to hold on. Where is he? He's to my left. He's to my right. Just a tough situation that Nakatani's in right now. Nakatani tried to go underneath with the right hand. Loma comes back with two punches, then steps right to him. Olé! <laughs> nice move right there. It's a body control move right there from Lomachenko. Pushing Nakatani into the corner. Actually against the ropes. Misses with the right hand. He's got to buy that lottery ticket, though. Body shot left hand to the body from Loma. Got that, com it. that combination was calculated about 30 seconds earlier. He just saw that he can get it in this moment at that point. He saw it. That jab is just coming out at one speed. And once he saw it, that's when he decided to let it go. Stop. A lot of holding and grappling from Nakatani. Not sure what he needs to do at this moment. Good body work right there from Nakatani. I told you, Lomachenko does not like getting hit down to the body. No fighter does. Man. Stop. Big Nakatani's got to get be careful because all of his shots are straying low. I'm looking at the redness of the body of Lomachenko. End of four, the return of Loma. Eight is positive for COVID. Now reports that it could get pushed back to September. Loma is seeking the rematch. There are a lot of folks out there that were thinking that Tiafimo would not go that direction, but now we hear right from Tiafimo Sr. Yes, we will give him the rematch, but it has to be the next fight after the mandatory defense, because as has long been expected, Tiafimo Lopez not long for the 135 pound division. I've never seen Nagatani so unnerved inside the ring. Typically, he's coming forward, pressuring guys, coming behind his jab and throwing his long right hand. But right now, he's trying to be the counter puncher, trying to time Lomachenko on the way in. Well, speaking of that, he wasn't unnerved when you have the common opponent of Tiafimo Lopez. July 2019, it was a 12-round decision, and Lopez didn't look that great that night. He wasn't showing off his impressive firepower that we've been so used to seeing from the undisputed champ. Not enough body work from Lomachenko watch head, tonight. Watch your head, watch Not enough body work. Four punches to the body landed against that tall, wiry, available frame of Nakatani. Well, Nakatani's making a big mistake. Being a spectator to the Lomachenko show, needs to crash the party and let his hands go and start to push Loma back and rip shots to the body like you said, Tim, and bring those shots back to the head. 
That right hand was blocked. Nearly a clash of heads again. We had that in the first round that opened up that cut. A lot of holding from Nakatani. A lot of holding. And Nakatani's not an inside fighter. That's literally territory he doesn't want to be in. So that's all he knows how to do in that situation. Especially with a fighter like Loma that keeps moving, never sits still, won't let you hold him, and is always on your left side or your right side. Just nice. like that. Up jab, comes around to the right side, lands the left hand. Stop! Stop! Some blood coming from the nose of Nakatani. Mm. It's no fun, fellas, when you get hit flush like that nope. and you can't get anything in return. Stop. It's no fun Stop. at all. Marcus getting Tani roughed up, too. Up those arms. And he getting roughed up, too, in the inside by Lomachenko. And that angle sends him back and down. Knockdown scored by Loma. Don't go to his pace. Stick with your pace. Use a lot of pace. If you, if you faint, he tends to be cautious. Nobu Ukushima, our translator, in the corner of Masayoshi Nakatani. So the knockdown scored in round five. Power punches through five rounds, 54% landed. That is excellent accuracy on power punches from Lomachenko, 34-63. To your point, Dre, Nakatani can't fight the inside. His transition game is terrible. So every time he shoots a jab out there, Loma is following that jab with his offense. That's how he's getting inside and catching Nakatani. How's right hands uh, straight down the middle from Nakatani. So interestingly, to that point, Tim, Ooh. one of the things that we sized up as, hey, here's an advantage for Nakatani. He's got length. He's got reach. In a strange way, it can work against him. And that's what's happened tonight as Loma's getting to the inside beyond those long jabs. Ooh, that and that's where shot. work has been done. There was even a left uppercut on the inside. And he hurt him. Loma Chanko has hurt him here in round six. Left hand snaps his head back. Chopping right hand. He's right in the kitchen against Nakatani. This time Loma's not giving his hand. Oh, what a shot that was. Nakatani stood up to it. Big left hand snapped it back, and Nakatani sitting there on the inside with Loma. Stop. Right. Yep, Nakatani's tough, but it's the skill of Lomachenko. I told you folks at home, skills pay the bills. He just ate another big left hand. Remember, Nakatani got up twice off the canvas against Verdejo and won by knockout. He's sitting there in the center of the ring, and now he's firing off one-twos. Yeah, it's a recharge right now from Lomachenko. Now he's going to figure out a way to get back in the inside and do it all over again. He knows that right hand is coming. He's going to have to slip and avoid that right hand to get inside. There's blood around the right eye of Nakatani. There's blood coming from his nose and his mouth as well. Loma looking powerful, quick, fast, mentally sharp. He's checking all the boxes tonight. Stop, stop. I need the DJ to play. Y'all must have forgotten by Roy Jones. I need him to play that right now. Lomachenko's in the in the zone right now. Long range right hand from Nakatani. Can't find the target again. Big round from Lomachenko. Big, big six round from Loma. 
Dre, that left hand. It's all the work he put in the first couple rounds allowed him to be right up close against Nakatani. Nakatani can't hurt Loma right there. He literally has no reach advantage at this range in the fight. And you see Loma battering Nakatani, taking full advantage of Nakatani having no inside game, not being physically stronger than the smaller man. And Loma is doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing. But the commission wanted to discuss things with the corner. So that is why he went up there. It's commission assessing. And the commission, after that sixth round, where Nakatani was clearly hurt, has now asked Nobu, the translator, to stay in that position. So they are going to be monitoring Nakatani. I just spoke with Sendai Tanaka, who is the trainer of Masayoshi Nakatani. I asked him up at the eye because it was broken twice already, the orbital bone. And he said, look, he's fine. He can see. It's just a little swollen. Back-to-back -back fights, that orbital bone was fractured. Fought through it. Ah, nice angle right there. Nakatani tried to dip to the left and land a body shot. Instead, he got return fire off of that angle from Lomachenko. If you notice, Loma never allows Nakatani to be comfortable on the inside. He's either trying to pull his arms away from Nakatani or he's trying to land little short shots. That's an alpha move from Loma, and he's basically letting Nakatani know that you're not safe in any area in this ring. That has been proven. Like that, closing the gap and coming up with that left hand. to add to that, Dre, all the movement and the fit feints and the hand feints Loma does and the slot changes and the head movement, that's unnerving as well. That's burning gas as well for Nakatani because he doesn't know when Lomachenko is going to take that angle like he's trying right there in the tackle. Dre, that was exactly what you talked about. All that footwork, the angles, even without mm. throwing a punch, you have to be so aware. Yes, indirect attacks, but Loma works this in the gym. He drills these things. So many times, fighters have good hands. Good body shot right there from Loma. Yeah, doubled up the jab, then went with the left hand to the body. But they don't have good feet. They don't know how to set up those good hands. Loma has worked on both. And he's been working on it since he was a little boy. Remember when his father pulled him out of the gym and said, you can't fight again because for the next few years, you're gonna do Ukrainian <laughs> national dance. Yes. That's what he made him do, and that is why he has this superb footwork. Footwork, coordination, it's all coming together tonight. Ooh, that, that Stop. right eye Stop. Right. of Nakatani does not look well at all. That right eye now, just in this round alone in the last 30 seconds, has swollen significantly, and that is the right eye. And there's a jam and two left hands, and here comes Loma again. But that's the right eye where the orbital fractures were. Loma's on fire. I mean, Loma's accuracy right The jab, the slip, the left hand. From Lomachenko. I've hit Nakatani so much to the head that he forgot to protect his body. I'm looking to try to get a good, a big body shot in there to try to end the night and go home early. Last one. He Pick forgot, Dre. Yeah, so okay? That's funny. You okay? Come on. This is what great fighters do. They answer the questions that are asked about them. If you don't perform well, you don't make excuses. You show up in the ring and you prove to the whole world that you still got it, and Loma's doing that right now. Loma has gotten better from his losses. When he was an amateur, he avenged his loss twice by beating the guy twice. He lost to Salido, comes back, and he beats Gary Russell Jr. Wins the world title. Watch your head, watch it. He lost to Lopez, right. and now turn around, turn around. you're seeing he started faster this time, he's stronger, and the footwork is there. We're seeing vintage Lomachenko. No, he has a right shoulder that's surgically repaired and that he can trust. As he told everybody, the first six rounds against Tiafimo Lopez, I was worried about the shoulder. I thought I would have to save it. I didn't think I could get through things with it. And he let those early rounds go away. Lopez took advantage, give credit to Tiafimo, and then Tiafimo finished strong as well, landing 50 punches in the 12th round. The Nakatani is simple man. 
You're getting hit when you don't throw the right hand and you just pose in front of Lomachenko. So why not throw the right hand? You landed a few of them, uppercuts, overhand rights, straight rights, and if you get hit, at least you tried to land in the process. May as well. Give yourself a chance to Lead land left. a shot. Again, and so accurate. And then he shoe shines and then comes upstairs. Nakatani is one tough cookie. Isn't he? Guy can take. Loma lands a big body shot with that left hand. It's going to be hard for Nakatani to recover from that. It lands in the right place. See, sometimes we can confuse toughness with skill. Yes, toughness could be a part of skill. You can be tough, but skill is what matters inside that ring. Yes, you can be tough as well, but the skill that we're seeing from Lomachenko is showing. It is something. For Nakatani, you got to throw more right hands. Yeah, the, the punch that Makatani's missing is the left hook. He's missing a left hook. He doesn't have a left hook. So he can't throw it. <laughs> we know he has a right hand, though. Yeah. And he needs to throw it. Well, he's got a problem opposite him. Hotels Las Vegas. They have packed in every inch of it tonight to see Lomachenko. The place reopened on May 22nd, and it was Josh Taylor's history-making win against Jose Ramirez to become the undisputed junior welterweight champ a week ago we saw now yet in a way who is right there atop the pound for pound list many have him top three in the world and now a guy who had been number one for silly Lomachenko looking to regain his status trying to secure a rematch with Tiafimo Lopez Tiafimo Lopez senior father and trainer of the undisputed lightweight champion said we will do the rematch yes it has to come next after our mandatory defense against Cambosis, though. And everybody would love to see that. Well, say it again, Tess. The answer for Lomachenko to go home early is the left body. to the body. body. Straight, right, Ooh. or maybe a right hook. Hmm. Straight right to the body. Oh. Looping left to the body. Nakatani is hurt. Can he finish him? He's trying to hold on against Loma. Nakatani is damaged. Remember, he went down in the fifth. He was hurt badly in the sixth. And now here in the ninth, can he survive? That right eye looks a bit close to me from Nakatani. And more work right there from Lomachenko. He's off balance. Let's see Loma close the show. Can he do it right here? Short work on the inside. Oh, straight left. And Nakatani just wraps him up. Look at his face. Damaged. Battered bruise. There's the left of the body. That's How the is one. Nakatani standing up to this? Too tough for his own good. Lomachenko, body work, sweeping left hand. It is over. Loma is back. Vintage form. The silly Lomachenko. Absolutely abused Nakatani in the ninth. TKO victory. He made an example 